I probably did. I, I've already. This is probably already gone to a fourth part. I just haven't even said hi yet. You got the Duke of Mask, keep it the memento, press start and set it. I'm already too late, it doesn't matter. Wear the mask with C to inhabit the body of a Deku. So basically, every time we put that mask on, we magically uh, mutate and turn back into the form we just wore. Which we end up having to do a lot more than I would like. So yeah, you taught me the song before I didn't actually tell you. I totally just gypped you, and I don't have the mask. It's like, don't tell me. My mask. And look at it, the change in voice. You did. Get it back, didn't you? <laughs> what have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. Yeah, I kind of figured that out when a giant moon just tried to kill me. That mask was stolen from me. It is called Majora's Mask. It is an accursed item from the legend that is said to have been used by ancient giants and hexing rituals. So, due to them using random rituals, now there's like this super powerful giant mask. It's said that evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. I'm sorry, I just that voice that voice hurt my throat. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's mask was so great that it destroyed the universe. And we're just we're living in hell. I don't know. The ancient ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in his shadow forever, preventing its misuse. So, I know you're a mask collector, but like <clears throat> But now, the tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the master's power. But I feel it. I went to the great lengths to get that legendary mask, and when I finally had it, I could sense the doom of the dark omen brewing. I, it was that unwelcoming feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now, the imp has it. <clears throat> I am begging you, you must get that mask back, or quickly something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. Really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Believe! 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 You gotta believe! Alright, so yeah, now we're, um, human again, and I'm, like, never gonna talk to him again. <clears throat> so yeah, that mask. The Skull Kid uses the power of mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we gotta do something about it. The Swamp, Mountains, Ocean, and Canyon. That was the tale was trying to tell us about. I bet he was in front of the four areas just outside of town. The four who are there. I have no idea. He always skips the boring stuff. I guess we should just go find out. If we go through the gate straight ahead, we'll be heading the direction of the swamp. Sorry I wasn't doing the the voice. I just, I really, I'm like so done right now. No, I don't want to. Attack the, smack the owl. Smack it. Smack it a couple more times. Okay, now we're going to check. You can use your save progress here. Warning, file will reopen, a bunch of other stuff. And save and quit playing. Yes. So guys, this marks the end of my recording session and this either mini part or whole part, depending on how I decide to break it up, um, of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3 Heart Challenge. Um, like I said, it should be a fun time. Here's my file. Hopefully no one ever gets confused with it because I am playing this on a normal Wii so my brothers might actually use it. But I'll probably tell them and they're probably hearing, they're probably listening to me outside the room. So, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Hey, uh, so yeah, we're back, um, um, I got a game, I got a GameCube controller, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to kill my little brothers because they went on my file while I was gone, and I had to rewatch that stupid cutscene with a, with a masked man, which, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you and destroy you in your sleep, so yeah, we had to go and watch all that again, that was not fun at all in any way, shape, or form, anyway, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go this way, and we're gonna want money. Money is very vital, especially in a three heart run. And as far as I know, I only need, I'm only required of one bottle, and I plan on getting the least amount of things possible, because I want this to be a fairly quick Majora's Mask run, and my goal would be this for, to be like, for this to be like 30 parts, to be honest, which is, I know it's kind of completely outrageous, but... Um, it's definitely possible. I know it should be. My worst fear is time, since this is gonna be, since part four is gonna have to merge with part three, so I'm not only gonna be able to record for like three parts. So for right now, though, what we're gonna do is we are going to go buy bombs. That's the first thing that is required of. Um, at the end, you at the end of the game, you do get bomb shoes, but ah. Eh, not worth my time right now. So anyway, yeah, now we just, we're gonna leave. 
So, um, yeah, we're just gonna get started right away. Let's go to the swamp, right? I mean, what more can we ask for? No, shush. No, I don't want to hear about your bombers. Because I'm a member. I'm like an underground secret member. That's why I don't want to know about the bombers. Okay. So... Yeah, now we're gonna... Oh, no. What's this? Somebody that has power. Okay. So, there's not much here. Oh, crap. There's another cutscene I have to watch. Oh, well. I'll flick it in there somehow, some way. Somehow, some way. Alright, so, we're gonna... Oh, go... No. What part of me wants to go sideways like that? There we go. This is slightly faster in a way that only speedrunners would really care about. But you know what? I need speed. So, hooray for speedrunning tactics. And I ran into a pole. So cool. He's like, yeah, there. Yeah, Tal's like, what's that? It is a drawing. How fascinating. Oh, I remember. I don't even know how to say that. Um, Taylor and I drew this the Skull King when we first met him. I have to re-listen to how I was talking. He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and that they had left him all alone. Huh, I wonder what he did. Seems like a bit of a goof, so... Probably did something stupid. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. Uh... What's the end of that song? I didn't notice that a lot of nursery rhymes are kind of evil, like Pop Goes the Weasel involves like the plague where they would die. I mean, that's a little awful, don't you think? Oh, well, that's just me rambling. So, uh, should I? Was I supposed to shut up during this cutscene? Uh, that probably was. Oh well, no damage. <laughs> Absolutely nothing to worry about. There's no problems with the fact that I'm talking through this very touching and sad cutscene. But it almost makes you feel sorry for the Skull Kid if it wasn't for the fact that he's trying to blow the moon up in the world while he was at it. So, yeah. Hardy, hard, hard. Surreal song. I love how they just throw Surreal song in so many random places. It's fantastic. Fan. Freaking fantastic. Wow. Do we get uh oh what's going on here? Darker music. So what do you do? I like how the, the the mask salesman is just like it's just hit his 3D model just laid down on his side. Alright, yeah, we all know what happened. Uh, giant moon of death. So, yeah. So, as of right now, let's see, what's the stuff we have? That. Bombs. Very, very important. Alright. So, let's go. I'm not really gonna be needing a map or anything. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try. Originally, I had this idea of doing a minimalist run, but I can't, uh, bomb jump. Hover bombing, bomb hovering, stuff like that. And bomb hovering, you could look that up on YouTube. It's actually really interesting. I might put a link in the description if I'm not that lazy. So, <clears throat> so yeah, now we are at the swamp. The swamp looks kind of nice. Not dangerous at all yet. Uh, there's a giant octopus block going. <laughs> Yay, where do you go again? How fun! Okay. Ah, I can still hear the music. Not cool. Why is it so loud? It's so weird. I hope this speaker doesn't catch it. Anyway, so. Man, I'm scrambling on. Am I always like this? I think I am. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is. We are going to go in here. Go in the new version of The Woods of Mystery, which is basically the Lost Woods. 
The same idea, but it'd be kind of stupid if it's a lost wood, so they called it the Woods of Mystery. Mmm, follow me! Where are you going? This guy is like a total jerk. He'll just completely turn around in the direction you want him to go. And it's just like, come on, really? Like, look at that, look at that, I didn't even have to get hurt. But because of the fact that he's such a jerk, I did get hurt. Okay, now he's going straight. Okay, where'd he go? Left. Leave me alone, you stupid snapper thing. Um, I'm just gonna assume left. Yes! Victory. Then I went, now it's like, oh, wow, help me. Oh my god, why can't I hear the music? I'm not supposed to be able to hear it. I have it like all the way down. Or maybe it's just like my mind playing tricks on me. I don't care that I'm not a hero. Anyway, I don't know how long that cutscene is going to last. I'm going to run back to the save station. But yeah, like I said, I had to, I had to rewatch that last cutscene because, um... Basically what happened was, was, um, I left the house. Um, I went, like, on a retreat or whatever for a couple days. And... Um, I guess they must have just went on my file, and they turned it off thinking absolutely no consequences would happen. But when the, one, of, one of the problems, one of the game's problems is saving. And the reason being is because when you save, there's only two different ways to save. One is by playing the Song of Time, and the other is by using the Owl. And the Owl is only a temporary save. Only when you play the Song of Time is it permanent. I'm just gonna stand still on it. Actually, I'll say it right now. But, um, yeah, only the Song of Time is permanent. So, let's say you, your little brother was to go on your file and then turn it off. Well, then it would revert to the last time you played the Song of Time. Which, for me, was a long time. And, um, I noticed it immediately because if you look at the file selection screen, where I'm at right now, the owl is right there. Kind of a good way of knowing. So, I'm gonna probably gonna talk to them. Hope they get, they tell me. They must tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me the secret to the world. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. I'm so sorry. I'm like so tired. School has just been a total jerk of everything. I don't even know how to put it. Anyway, something I didn't get a chance to show is there's a bit of a title screen here. You see a masked man with Majora's Mask, <laughs> and look, it's Clock Town. How? Yeah, there's Link. He's like, ah, oh, there's no moon crashing yet. Nah, har, har. And except for that one guy that's looking at the moon, that's what he's supposed to be doing. But there's, I don't think there's a moon right now, so it's like crap. Is there a moon yet? No, he's just like looking at the sky, like it's so pretty. It's only red. That's so amazing. Anyway, um, yeah, it's just, it, they just kind of show Link sitting around doing nothing in Clock Town. So, I'm gonna see you guys later. I'm sorry if my commentary was a little dull. I'm still a little, a little rusty, but I promise to go back to it soon. So, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Majora's Mask. Goodbye.